What's up guys, welcome to the Stash Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. So this video was inspired by LeBron and DeMar DeRozan yesterday at the Drew League. And this list is pers in my personal list of top five NBA players I would love to see in the Drew League. Um, and it might be not this summer, but probably next summer. Well, they can't squeeze it in if they want to this summer. It don't matter. You know, LeBron and DeRozan did it so late of a notice, like a day before. So it could definitely happen. And this list is in no particular order. And I'm not one of those stuck-up YouTubers, oh, you can't critique my list, it's my list. Go ahead, critique it. <laughs> Go ahead, critique it, man. I don't care. I love the feedback, positive or negative. It doesn't matter. Drop your own personal top five list that, that you would like to see. But this is one I'm sticking with. I'm standing firm on it. But we can definitely talk about it and debate about it in the comment section down below. So let's start. Honorable mentions. Um, so I have three honorable mentions, and I'll let you know why. So first is Paul George. Paul George, I think the world of, you know, and most people don't know that. Um, I've had my channel for a while now. I'm just now getting some traction, getting getting good. But I do. I used to do a podcast uh, like twice a week a couple years ago, you know. So uh, Paul George was very big on my podcast. I love Paul George. I think he's a top 10 player in today's NBA. Uh, or he can definitely, you know, somewhere in that range. Um, you know, so... This list is more of guys kind of underrated. Well, not really, but there's someone on this list who, well, actually two people. Two people on, on, on this list who similar position, similar play style, you know, and let, and more underrated. You know, I think Paul George, people know what Paul George um, can do. He's not as underrated as these other two guys, or at least one of them. So I'll say Paul George is on my honorable mentions list. Um, number two. Tyler Hero, um, you know, a, a white boy who can ball in this type of atmosphere will be great to see, just like in the movies, you know, white man can't jump, stuff like that. So that's always dope to see, you know. But uh, Tyler Hero can definitely ball, um, and he's not a punk. He can definitely stand up to the crowd, stand, and he'll, you know, talk back to the other players, things like that. It'll be good trash talk, good honorable, respectful trash talk going on, and Tyler Hero will definitely make some buckets, deep threes, Drive inside, might dunk on someone a little bit here and there, so cross someone maybe. So, yeah, I like Tyler Hero's game a lot. Him and his atmosphere in the Drew League would be fantastic, but he just missed my list. Now, this one might be controversial. I'm not going to lie to you, and that's Steph Curry. Steph Curry did not crack my list, and it's really for one reason. I'm not going to sit here and hide the fact, you know, it just says he's a, he's similar to Steph Curry. It's Trey Young. Trey Young made the list instead of Steph Curry because hear me out. So Trey Young is more universally hated than Steph Curry is in terms of the basketball NBA um, community. You know Steph uh, Steph has the same or more of a provo uh, bravado, excuse me, than Trey Young and more swag and stuff than Trey Young. But he's he deserved it. Deserves it. He he's earned it. He has four rings. He has a Finals MVP now. He's been in the league for longer. He's been more impactful, you know. So Steph gets to get away with that. Trey Young, not so much, you know. And people tend to hate Trey Young in terms of basketball. People hate Trey Youngs when he gets uh bro, bro, he gets braggadocious and shows his bravado and swag off. So just for this and this atmosphere, I think Trey Young is a better fit. So I'm gonna go with Trey. So Steph is on my honorable mentions list. Now you have one person on my real list, and that's going to be, I start with Trey Young, number one. So I just really explained it, really. You know, him and Steph, similar games. And I know not the exact same game. I know that, guys. But it's close enough just to get the same feel Steph Curry would give you. So my honorable mentions is to start off, Steph Curry, Tyler Hero, PG. And my number one with no order is Trey Young for those reasons I, I, I just said. Now, the number two, Ja Morant. Now, Ja Morant was tricky to me. And this list is kind of tricky to, to, to make, honestly, because you kind of can't have the same players or the same play styles on, on, uh, on the list. Same as Trey and Steph. I would love to have those two up here, but you really can only pick one. And this goes the same for Ja Morant. And to me, to me personally, Donovan Mitchell. I can't have both on the list. They both will give me similar games and similar outcomes if they both were in the Drew League. But I think Ja's more explosive. Uh, I think he's more of a fan favorite and he's more of a star. Plain and simple. So 
Um, and to be honest, I think Donovan Mitchell might have more points if he were to play in uh, in the Drew League because Mitchell can 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 score better than Ja can right now. You know, Ja can definitely drive inside and get hot, make some middies, make some threes, threes. But I think Mitchell is more consistent doing those. You know, so uh, if I if I were to pick the better game, it would be Donovan Mitchell. But Ja's so electric. And I think Ja might catch a crazy body. I think Ja might catch someone for real. You know what I mean? So we know how how many highlights Anthony Edwards and Ja have of them almost catching bodies. I think Ja, just the potential of him might catching one is more, is is a little boost to put him ahead of Donovan Mitchell on my personal list. So number two for me, as I say, in no order, Donovan Mitchell, right? So three, three was tough. Uh, this third one here, I want to cheat so bad and give you two guys in one spot. They're on the same team. Uh, they're similar players, but I'm going to be, I'm, 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 I'm going to go ahead and pick one. And this is one of those guys that were similar to Paul George. I said, why well, I left Paul George off because he's more underrated. He's younger, just went into the NBA finals, lost, but he's, he's underrated in my personal opinion still. And that's Jalen Brown. So I want to do Tatum and Brown as one. You know, they're on the same team, they're, they're teammates, you know, they're similar players, but I chose one. I'm going to stick to the list and be committed to it. Jalen Brown at three. Jalen Brown's a monster. He's a monster. He's an athletic freak. And to me, you know, him and Tatum are in the same vein as Paul George. Long, strong, 6'9", perimeter guys, two-way players, some of the best in, in, in today in the NBA right now. You know, they're all if, – if you name two-way wings – uh, who can give you premium offense and premium defense? PG and P- PG Tatum and Brown are all in the top five, probably top seven. You know what I'm saying? So they're definitely all in the same vein of uh, player. Um, but I think Brown out of those out of the, out of those three I just named, Brown is more underrated. You know, uh, Brown had a tough. He, Brown had a really tricky finals to uh, grade. You know, he kept trying to drive inside and kept getting stripped and poked and got the ball poked away. But all in all, but before the finals started, he drove in the inside with no problem. And then in certain moments during the finals, he played better than, than Tatum did. He carried the team a little bit more than Tatum did. So, you know, uh, both players are awesome. Both are still young and still growing. But I think Brown has more to prove than Tatum does. Uh, Jason Tatum just took that jump into superstardom. I think Brown is somewhere right behind him. You know what I mean? And I think a, a, a great showing in, 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 in the Jew League will get folks buzzing up about Brown. So, And I think Brown will go crazy. I really think Brown could give you 40. Like whatever Brian gave you yesterday, I think Brown can give you more or about the same, but more flashy. You know, he's younger. He's more athletic right now than LeBron is. I think he will dunk on a couple people, snatch some blocks, steals, all that good stuff, lock people up. Uh, transition plays, he'll go crazy, you know, so I think Brown is my third pick, um, close, very, very close with him and Tatum, and I want to do Tatum because of the, the, the no, the, the kind of like the, the I can't even talk, <laughs> I wanted to do Tatum because of the Kobe lineage, you know, he's kind of like Kobe, and to be honest, there's no D-Book either, no Devin Booker, so for me personally, if I would have chose Tatum, Right in my in, in my personal thinking, it would have been between Tatum and Booker, you know. But I think it just got yeah. I can't really explain it right now, but because make the little video too long. But yeah, it's no Kobe lineage on this video. But if I did choose a Kobe lineage, which is very very tough for me, I wanted to do Tatum or Booker, but it ended up being Tatum versus Brown. I think Brown more than rated, so that's why I chose Brown. Not to get so convoluted and extra with my uh, um, thoughts about it. So. Number three is Brown. Number four, <clears throat> I'm going to go with Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons, man. You know, people forget about Ben Simmons, and we see Ben Simmons a whole lot, you know, playing, uh, training during the summertime, things like that, and he's shooting shots. His J look a little funny, but he's shooting shots. He's hitting middies, threes, all that stuff. I think Ben Simmons coming out party during the Drew League this summer would be amazing. It would be fantastic, him shooting threes. Him showing the Nets, he's ready. In, 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 in this isn't a dream world. This is not realistic. I'm just saying, you know, if it were to happen, if 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 it were, if it went my way, 
Ben Simmons saying, hey, I'm playing next week and I'm going to turn up. You know, and Ben Simmons drops a couple jump shots. No, same as Brown. A, 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 a couple jump shots, dunks, steals, lockdown defense, show he's back healthy, and he dominates the Drew League with like 50-plus points, 40-plus points, bunch of threes, and a bunch of mid-ranges. You know what I mean? That will be my dream scenario for Ben Simmons. And I think he could do that. You know, I, I, I want to say a bunch of jump shots, but he'll give you a, a handful and probably make two or three. Two, you know, two out of five, two out of six, you know, uh, two handfuls worth. He'll give you two, or two out of six, you know, somewhere in that range to me personally. That will be nice. Just to see him shooting would be definitely nice to see and um, give you something to look, look hopeful for in the future for the Brooklyn Nets or whatever team has him in the upcoming season. So Ben Simmons will be my pick. I think he'll be dominant, same as Brown, young athletic wing perimeter two-way guy. And the thing is, Ben Simmons is so scary, bro. Ben Simmons is a is 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 a two way wing with premium offense just by driving inside by himself, no jump shot, just driving inside, overpowering people, dunking, layups, all that good stuff. Once he get a jump shot, if he gets a jump shot, it's gonna be scary. <laughs> if if he ever does, so we'll see if he ever does. Um, but on to my final pick, kind of in left field, kind of sort of is Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson, Steph Curry's uh, teammate, and the thing with me and Clay—not not me and Clay, Steph and Clay—is, yes, yeah, Steph Curry's known as a better shooter, but if you hear about their practices and you've seen the three-point contest a couple years ago, and you know Clay Clay's lore and legend, Clay can score without dribbling the ball. You know, Clay don't gotta bring the ball up. Clay won't get doubled. It's tough to double Clay because he don't got the ball in his hand, so you're gonna leave someone wide open automatically. Clay will be Clay might drop a hundred, bro. Um, if Clay can get going, it's gonna be tough to stop Clay. You literally, if you double Clay or play zone, you know you're gonna get lit up. And, and, and if you double Clay, triple Clay, that means someone wide open. And Clay don't have the ball. You know Clay can catch and shoot like not not like nobody else. He's the best of all time to me in catch and shooting. You know, so Clay to me will put up the most points. Him, him, Steph, or Trey. I will lean towards Clay in that. I will in, in this order. I will lean towards Clay, Steph, and then Trey. But yeah, or KD, someone that range as well. But yeah, uh, Clay Thompson could put up eighty to hundred points in my personal opinion. Because you you can't. He's unguardable. If he gets hot, he's unguardable. You can't stop him. You really can't. So. That's my thing, man. Clay, number five, my last on my list. No order. So my list is Ben Simmons, Clay Thompson, Trey Young, John Morant, and Jalen Brown. Honorable mentions, Tyler Harrow, Steph Curry, <clears throat> excuse me, and Paul George. So let me know down below. Let me know on social media how you feel about it. You disagree. You agree. Give me your top five. Give me your honorable mentions or whatever you want to do. So that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.